Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Seltzer Sunday. Chef the yeah. other project. Ha! Going a little western as we're burning this daylight here as we fall into this fall here for Texas. But uh, today we got a, a brand new uh, brand that we found at the local town of Dom. This is the Four Sixes Ranch Water. Uh, they're a similar brand, probably similar flavoring as uh, the Lone Pint. Um, mm. Looks like they just getting started, Chef RV. All right. Um, where do you think they got the Four Sixes from? Uh, Yellowstone? That's right, probably so. Uh, was it season five coming out? <laughs> Woo! Early November, That's let's right. go! Season five, uh, Yellowstone coming out. Uh, make sure you get your American hat. That's well. right. And it is officially felt season. What's up, American hat? And get these from the best hat store in Fort Worth, Texas. Shout out to them. Yeah. Uh, all right. So four flavors, nothing four. new. Uh, it's the ranch water style. So they're going for the different ranch waters that you probably see you can get. Uh, everyone has their spin on the flavors. So uh, we got the blue uh, blueberry pomegranate, blackberry pomegranate. All right. Uh, natural lime. So this is the regular one. Uh, then we're gonna have the what is this? Uh, prickly pear margarita, and then the spicy habanero juicy mango. So. Oh wow! Uh, some simpler flavors than others, uh, and we'll just see if they sell. Stay tuned. Ah, man, I'm right. Dad gum. All right, I'm ready when you win. All right, all right. Going to this first flavor here on Seltzer Sunday. We got the Four Sixes Grit and Glory flavors, or Ranch Water style seltzer in the cocktail in the can. Uh, this first flavor is the blackberry pomegranate. Mm. Again, this is uh, made more with the blue agave base versus. Um, uh, maybe a malt base that you see in your seltzers and four kinds of ranch water. Yep. Okay, got a little color to it. No carbonation. Not much carbonation. Give it a whirl. It's a vinegar scent. Yep. Um, let's see what it tastes like. Oh. Oh. I don't know the project, Pat. And yeah. It's got a little too much grit. A little too much grit. Yeah, you, you, might, you better you better uh, be entering grit week on Barstool Sports with this one. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, oh. This, uh, yeah, it's not not our favorite here, Chef RV. Oh, um, very vinegary on the scent um, and the... Yeah, taste wise, generous three. Yeah, I mean, I'm not getting much blackberry at all. If it is, um, it's pretty tart. Um, yeah. Aftertaste. Mm, I'm not liking it yeah. at all. It's sticking. Sorry, I'm gonna go sixes. One point five on the aftertaste, and I I just have one of them, and, uh, you know, just to try it out. But not our favorite here. Uh, for, for, uh, not not quite the lowest, but a one point eight three is pretty low. Yeah, one point eight. Yeah. So, all right, we got three more. Yep. Um We've had some ups and downs. That was last week. We had a low of a one point six. Uh, and well, a high. Well, no. that was the uh, we had a low of a three point oh, but we also found a pool patio or a tailgate trampler. There is still hope, folks. So um, we'll spin this wheel and uh, maybe we'll hit the four sixes. <laughs> I saw this dog walking in the saloon, limping. I said, "What's wrong, dog? Why are you limping? Why are you so angry?" He replies, "I'm looking for the man that shot my paw." <laughs> I hope he finds him. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right, the second flavor here on Selfish Sunday, and we're burning this daylight here at Four Sixes Grit and Glory. Yeah! This is the natural lime. Again, uh, going for the ranch water style. Um, if any of y'all are familiar with Lone Pint, that's a similar uh, style of. Ah! Yeah, so. Yes, indeed, man. Okay, we're gonna pour these up. I'm um, hoping to find a little bit better uh, rating and flavor than the first one, but mm -hmm. that's why we do this, to get ahead of this before you go uh, and taste these. Mm -hmm. And shout out to the best cowboy at the Four Sixes, Jimmy. One of the best characters in Yellowstone. Mm. All right, Chef Four V and everybody. A um, well, little, bit, little so bit of redemption yeah, compared to the better. first one. The Vinegar scent still there, but the lime really uh, helps balance that out. Mm -hmm. A little chalky, but yeah. I ain't mad at it. Um, flavor wise, definitely better flavor. Still mm -hmm. not out of this world. Nope. Five wise. Five. Yeah, five. Yeah, aftertaste, it, it is better yep. uh, than the blackberry pomegranate. Same time, it isn't saying much. Yeah. It's not wooing and wowing me. Nope. It's not really going away either. This, this won't call in the hogs. Nope. Four. Four. Quantity, I probably have two. 
Yeah, just two. This is two. All right, that's going to give us a 3.6 of the project. All right, right everybody, 3.6, heard it here first. Still got two left, so two left. Two left. We're gonna we're gonna bat, battle and power through these. We're staying in the trenches. Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Got him running for governor. We're not really sure what Casey gonna do. He's probably a little upset after he killed his daddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm ready when you're ready. Okay. This is player number three here on Selfish Sunday. The four sixes grit and glory collection. Sorry. Uh, this here is the prickly pear margarita, everybody. Prickly pear! Pour these up for us. Again, uh, a couple facts about these. These are 5% uh, alcohol. Five. Uh, 110 calories. 110. And uh, for, for uh, carbohydrates, so a little bit more than uh, some of the other ones, but still in the range of all the seltzers that we usually will review. Mm-hmm. We got a little bit of pinkish right yeah, here. Yeah, a little right. coloring here. It's kind of matches my shirt. Oh, there you go, what a project pack. All right, getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, kind of tastes like the, maybe if like uh, Chili's had the El Presidente Prickly Pear Edition. Yeah, there you go. I think okay. the Duttons might approve of this That's one. That's right. Um, Taste-wise. Taste-wise, a, a vast improvement, an exponential improvement mm -hmm. from the first two. Motion has been seconded. That's right. 7-1? Seven, 7-1, one. Seven, one. so we're, we're on to something. After taste, it's cleansing the palate, which is what you want when you have these set seltzers or any type of cocktail in the can. You don't want, don't want the lingering uh, oh, no, sweetness or sourness or tartness, whatever flavor they're going for. You don't want that to linger. So, uh, six. A six. Bit better. Yep. So, it's just not, not, not a. It's still not, not hooing and wowing us. Yeah, it's not going to calm in the cattle. Mm mm. Now, quantity could have a little bit more than the other ones, but it's not not nothing. Like, we're going to see a theme of getting filled up. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So four, um, four, you know, this isn't something I would want to be uh, sipping on all day working cattle. Absolutely right, and that's going to give us a five point seven of the project all right. pack. All right, we're, we're getting better each one. Uh, maybe not the tailgate tramplers in this pack, but we got one more. One more! Let's go! Let's go, oh, man. All right, we're roping our way through this four sixes grit and glory. This is the fourth flavor here. This is the spicy habanero juicy mango, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! And if any of y'all are first time viewers, thank you for tuning in. Again, this is Chef RV, and I'm Other Project Pat, and this is Seltzer Sunday. Be sure to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Um, get all your sports bets through Bavada.lv. Mm -hmm. That's right. And all your oh, hats from wow. the American Hat Company at the best hat store in the Stockyard in Fort Worth. Couldn't have said it better myself. Not that spicy. Not as spicy. Maybe towards the end, Chef Boy would be there, buddy. Maybe in the aftertaste, um, but we'll get there. The taste so far is the best tasting one of the pack. Yeah, I like how it's uh, it's more mango, but light mango. Yes. I, I can't explain it, yep. but it's not bad. Yeah, uh, mango can kind of be up and down. It's, it's a mm -hmm. piece of famine. This is a good, this is a better one. 7-2? Yep. All right. Now, aftertaste, it... I think it is a little bit better. Yep. Uh, it's not amazing. No. I, I think it. Uh, I think it. Uh, it yeet. It yeet a little too much when it should have hawed a little bit more. I catch what you're uh, saying. But um, you know, not too mad at it. No. What do you think? Six five. Six five. Better. Right? It's a little, it's a little bit better than the yep. prickly pear. Quantity. I mean, there's that theme of. All these are going to be pretty filling. Super, super filling. Um, maybe, maybe meant to just enjoy, not not slam, but uh, yeah. Uh, maybe I could probably enjoy it a little bit better tasting. Some, some yeah. of them could be. Yeah, I might, might enjoy this one the most out of them all. But yeah, if you're gonna have it at Cadillac, maybe just sip on it a little yeah. bit. And it's well, slightly better with the four or five compared yeah, to the four or uh, five compared to the the uh, what is that the prickly pear. Mm -hmm. So. Seven two six five four five. That gives us a six one of the project pack. The uh, winner of the pack, but uh, definitely not one we're gonna recommend you put it put in your cooler at the tailgate or your cooler while you're out there working working the land. That's right. Sorry four sixes, but keep trying. That's right. All right, it's that time. It's that time. Outro time. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed the seltzer Sunday. It's the four sixes, grit and glory. Not our favorite one, Chef for a beer, everybody. Uh, the winner was the final ones, the spicy habanero juicy mango with a 6.1.
Uh, like we always say, and if you tuned in, anything over seven, we're gonna recommend you uh, put that in your cooler. So uh, grab, that, uh, grab that in your weekly or monthly grocery haul. Mm -hmm. um, these ones, uh, just not quite there, not quite our, our flavor. Um, but Let's show uh, your you know, Texas support, give it a shot. That's right, yeah, give it a shot, let us know what you think. Um, so, found these at Tom Thumb, looks like a pretty new seltzer, so uh, shout out to Four Sixes. Um, we'll uh, review anything else you got. Yeah, and now it is that time of the show, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick and I are going to be doing what we call the Suicide Seltzer. Now what it is, it is a combination of all four flavors into one glass that we call the Suicide Seltzer. And the way that we determine who's gonna drink it is other Project Pat and myself play a game of rock, paper, scissors. We're gonna go one, two, three, and shoot. Loser has to take the combination. So without further ado, here we go. One, two, three, shoot! One, two, three, shoot! Oh, yeah! Oh, gosh, we're going to have to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we greatly appreciate your time. Be sure to tune in to Instagram or YouTube. That's right. Give us a like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Be sure, and uh, if you see us out in Fort Worth, be sure to say hello. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ooh, that's a toughie, ladies and gentlemen. How we doing on the project, Matt? Tremendous. All right, let's go. Bye.